Hey, Alt Nemert here. So today we're going to work with uh, this sheet, groups of two and threes. Uh, this is an awesome sheet. It, it's not just another exercise. It should be part of your repertoire. So we're going to spend some, some good quality time with, with that sheet. Um, so please download it on, uh, on my drumgate.com uh, webpage. And um, well, then come back and uh, watch the rest of the video. And then we're going to get to work here. Uh, so a group of uh, where well, the way it's layout here on this page is uh, a group of three is played right, left, left. All right. And uh, the right hand is playing the or an accent. Okay. So it's loud right, two soft a left. A uh, group of two is again accented right followed by one left stroke. All right, and on this sheet we, we have uh, a good a whole bunch of uh, variations, <clears throat> and um, yeah, we're just going to go through some of these, and we're going to have some fun with that. All right, uh, the way we're going to play it right away, rather than playing on it on one surface, we're going to play with the right hand on a tom. Let's start on the small tom. Um, you know, I'm, I have three toms here, but I, I have only one rack tom, two floor toms. Uh, you, you probably, like, you know, most, most drum kits uh, are equipped with two rack toms and one floor tom. Uh, that's just fine. Uh, as long as you have three toms, uh, most of these exercises are going to work. If you, don't, if you happen to have only two toms, just come up with, uh, with different, different variations. Maybe use the right symbol as your third tom or... Uh, you're gonna figure it out. All right, so uh, first example A is three, three, two, three, three, two. It's gonna be played like this. All right, uh, let's check out a, a couple more. So B, three, three, two, two, three, three. It's gonna be played like this. Okay, so this way you can um, accustom yourself, just going down through the uh, exercises there, uh, get used to the rhythms and to the system. Uh, um, the only thing I would like to mention is at the very bottom, uh, there is uh, one in a bracket. Um, that means, um, you know, with all the other exercises, if, if you add them up, you end up uh, playing 16 notes, so it fits into one bar. Uh, one four four bar, and uh, the last one happens to have only fifteen notes. So that one added uh, just uh, makes it possible to fit into one bar. So, anyways, we're like on, on with the last example, the the last group of three. You're just basically gonna add another one uh, with the left hand, so it makes it basically into a group of four. Then, so the the last one I is gonna be played like this. Right, so let's go back to A, and uh, like I mentioned earlier, three toms. So we're gonna play, we're gonna play A like this. Okay, so you noticed uh, with each new group, I uh, switch to the next tom. You can go down, you can also play it uh, backwards, kind of, like this. It's also fun to switch, um, playing the first three groups downwards, the next three upwards. Right. Let's try this with the next uh, group, uh, B. All right, so practice all of these exercises like that. Uh, get used to the rhythms, to the way it feels when you play it. 
uh, and then we're gonna we're gonna move on. One of the most important things, um, well, uh, is when when you play with groups in general, is uh, you you need to stay in time. All right. Uh, so you can you can move around in groups of three, five, six, what, whatever you want to do, but uh, you you can't you can't afford to lose the time. So with these exercises, what what we have to work on is um, we have to uh, play quarter notes with well, either the bass drum or the hi hat. I prefer the hi hat, although I think you should do or practice both. Um, so let's let's try this with uh, with the first group A. So remember, when you play sixteenth notes and you're playing quarter notes with your hi hat, it's going to sound like this. Or with the bass drum. Yeah, let's use the bass drum. You might be able to hear this better. Okay, so now you have to figure out how the groupings line up with the bass drum. Okay, if you can't do it in, in your head, just uh, write it write it out on a piece of paper, so you you can actually see how it lines up. Okay, so A is gonna be played like this. It could be helpful, or it might be helpful, if you play a bar of time before you um, dive into the exercise, like this. So I would just uh, suggest, oh, that's a difficult word for me, <laughs> um, uh, that you go through the whole sheet based on what we just uh, explored here on the drum kit. Make sure you are able to play the quarter notes with that or to uh, you know play, play them along with a metronome. That's the other option you have. Um, well, approach it slow, have fun. And in part two, we're going to explore some really cool ideas based on this system. See you then.